Standing in pasture is a cairn containing two burial chambers. This site was excavated by the RCHMS between 1968 and 1970. There were two periods of construction originally around a cairn covering a single chamber, but late in date a small passage grave was added to the southeast edge of the cairn, and the cairn itself was enlarged to its present oval shape. The original chamber is in the northwest and measures 0.9 by 1.25 meters with a height of about 1 meter. The area of the chamber is enclosed by five upright boulders and a small gap between two of these indicate the original entrance. But once the cairn was erected the chamber must have been completely sealed as there is no indication of a passage to the chamber through the cairn material. The cairn has been severely robbed but the curbstones which survive in two places in the south and northeast show that the cairn has a diameter of about 18 metres. The later chamber constructed on the southeast part of the cairn was entered through a passage 1.4 metres in length, 1.1 metres in width and about 0.9 metres in height. The chamber itself is enclosed by seven large boulders with dry stone walling between them. Two capstones survive, one in its original position to cover the passage grave. The original cairn was extended to a length of 20.7 metres, retaining the original width of 18 metres at the northwest end, thus giving an oval shape to the cairn. Excavations by the RCHMS in 1968-70 produced finds which included shreds of Neolithic vessels, a flint knife and jet disc beads, all of which are now in the Museum of National Antiquities in Scotland. Thank you very much for watching my video.